Hi, next topic is greedy method. This is one of the strategy for solving problems. Just like divide and conquer and the other strategies, greedy method is also one of the approach for solving a problem or a design which you can adopt for solving similar problem. The problems which fits into this one, you can solve all of them. Let us understand what this method says. What is this method about? This method is used for solving optimization problem. What are optimization problems? Are problems which demands or which requires either minimum result or maximum result. So for this, let us know few terms. I'll explain it through an example. Suppose there is a problem P and that problem is I want to travel from one location A to location B. I have to cover this journey that is my problem for any problem I am taking one example it can be any problem similar type now for this problem there may be more than one solutions let us say I can travel this by walk solution one or I can take a bike solution two I can take a car solution three I can go by train solution four and I can go by flight solution five and there may be more solutions you can give me more solutions. So my problem is to travel from location A to location B and there are many solutions. You go like this or take this, take this and go there. But there is a constraint in a problem. I say that I have to cover this journey within 12 hours. This is a condition, constraint. So suppose I cannot cover it if I go by walk or by car and so I can cover it only if I go by train or flight. Now, for a problem, there are many solutions, but these solutions which are satisfying the condition given in the problem, then these type of solution becomes feasible solutions. That's the meaning of feasible solution. A solution which is satisfying the condition given in the problem is feasible solution though for a given problem there may be many solutions this is feasible solution satisfying the constraint commonly we use the term is it feasible or not feasible in the sense what satisfying our constraints or not limitations or not next if I say that I want to cover this journey in minimum cost minimum cost I want to spend as much as less possible then this becomes a minimization problem so now as the problem demands a result should be minimum then it is a minimization problem right then out of these two solution one of the solution may be taking minimum cost suppose by train if I go this is minimum cost then this is called as optimal solution a solution which is already feasible and also giving me minimum cost that is best results that is best for me minimum is best for me then that solution is called as optimal solution and definitely for any problem there can be only one optimal solution there cannot be multiple optimal solutions that means there can be only one minimum cost Minimum can be only one. There can be more than one solution. There can be more than one feasible solution, but there will be definitely only one optimal solution. This problem requires minimum result. Some other problems may require maximum result. So if a problem requires either minimum or maximum results, then we call that type of problem as optimization problem optimization problem is one which requires either minimum result or maximum result so let us briefly look at the terms once again feasible solution means a solution which is satisfying some constraint optimal solution means which is achieving the objective of a problem satisfying the objective of a problem that is either minimum result or maximum result a problem which requires a 
minimum or maximum result is a optimization problem. So greedy method is used for solving optimization problems. These are the strategies used for solving optimization problems. These three methods are for solving optimization problem. The approach is different. And every problem whichever requires optimal results, some may be suitable here, some may be suitable here. This strategy can apply on it or some this strategy can be applied or some for some problems, all three strategies can be applied on them. So we will learn all these strategies through problems one by one. Now we are going to cover this greedy method. So we will start with greedy method. We will understand what greedy method says, what is the approach. So next I will tell you about greedy method. What is its approach? Here is the general method of greedy. I have written an algorithm. Now see greedy method says that a problem should be solved in stages. In each stage, we will consider one input from a given problem. And if that input is feasible, then we will include it in the solution. So by including all those feasible in inputs, we will get an optimal solution. So in stages, we will each time we'll pick up our input and we consider it. And if it is feasible, we will include it. And like this, if we follow this procedure, we will get the optimal solution. So here a general method is given. If a problem is given and that problem is having an input of some size and n is the size and it is having some data, some values, input values. Now it will go through all those input values from 1 to n and each time it will select something from A and call it as x. If that x is feasible, that is one input, one by one it will pick up the input. And that input, if it is feasible, it will include in the solution. If it is feasible, it is included in the solution. So this comes under if. This is the general method. Now to, I will explain you through example. The approach of greedy method is that. Suppose if you have to buy a best car. Best car. Best car in the sense, in terms of features, you want a best car, optimal, optimal. Okay, the cost will be maximum definitely. So, but you want optimal, optimal in the sense what in terms of features. Now, how do you choose a best car? How do you choose a best car? So one method is you should look at all the brands and all the models of cars available in the world or at least in your city then you can say that I have checked all the cars, then I have selected the best car. This is one approach for solving a problem. The problem is to buy a car. This is one method. This will be very much time consuming. You have to check each and every brand and every model. See, the cost may not be a thing. Sometimes a nice car may be better than costlier car. So checking with the features and you are deciding that this is the best car. So, but actually what is the method we follow? We first of all sort out the brands and we say that we don't want in this, this, we want, let us say you are selecting a brand that is Toyota or Hyundai, right? Okay, you are saying that these are the best brands for you. And in these brands, then again, you will select the top models, right? So you are, you are not looking at the lower models. So again, you have sort out. Then again, you say that in this top model, the latest release car or the well-known car, well-tested car, you are picking up that one and you are saying that this is the best one. Is it really the best one out of all the cars in the market? For you, it is the best one. So what is the approach you adopted? You have adopted a greedy approach. So you have your own method of selection and based on that selection method, you got some result and you are saying that this is the best result. That's how it is greedy. And definitely when you do this, you will be picking up a best car. So you don't have to waste time in checking all the cars in the available in the city, available in the market. So that's it. So without checking all of them, you say that you select few and say this is the best car. 
No doubt, that's the best car, but the approach you adopted is greedy. I'll give you one more example. Suppose you are running a company and you want to hire some people. So when you have given an ad, some thousand people came to you for the interview. Now you will conduct some type of test like you first you conduct return test and then you have a technical test or group discussion like that. You will have various phases of test and you will filter the people. And finally, you select one person and you say that this is the best person out of those thousand. Is he really a best person? Yes, according to your procedures. It's the best person. What was your selection procedure? Based on the selection procedure, he is the best person. And yes, you have got the optimal solution. So the approach is greedy. Many students complain that I was better than him and he got selected. They think like that. But really the person who got selected is the best one, definitely. So the approach that you are adopting. Now, I'll tell you, if you are selecting one person out of thousand, then for all you should give a chance for return test, for all you should give a chance for group discussion, for all you should, you should give a chance for technical interview and HR interview, then pick up the best one. This will be very time consuming and costly process. We don't do that. We simply filter the people and select the best one. This approach is called as greedy approach. So we have our own methods of selection and we follow blindly we follow those methods because those are the known methods. When you follow known methods of solving a problem and you quickly solve it, that approach is called as greedy. So I have given you enough idea about the greedy method. Now you will come across through the problems one by one I will pick up and I will solve them. So in the, while discussing the problem also, I'll show you what the approach greedy is following so that if you type find any similar type of problem, you can follow the same approach and solve it. That's it, the introduction for greedy method.